I thank the uh, thank gentleman the from South Carolina is recognized for one minute. Thank you, sir. Thank the chairman. I, I rise reluctantly in opposition to this bill based on my admiration for you as a chair and for your work, the committee's work, frankly, in, I think, instituting a great bill that has important forms in projecting force around the world, in sustaining troop levels, and in ultimately defending our country. But I do believe, as was just mentioned by the last speaker, that there is still a glaring problem in that it continues this process of ceding power and authority from the legislative branch over the executive branch, which means for me, as good as this bill is, and I think it's a great bill, there is still this larger constitutional question about the balance of power in our system of government at the federal level. I mean, for me, what I would say is I, I, I don't know how we condemn the president for taking unilateral action with regard to immigration and yet endorse a bill that ought to and offers funds for his ability to take unilateral actions with regard to war in the Middle East. As has already been noted, he has burned through his 60 days in the War Powers Act. There is no declaration of war, and in this case, there is no current authorization Gentleman's for these time has expired. I thank the chairman. The gentleman yields.